I'm assuming because she didn't give him the blade at all when she needed to at the end of last episode, and this episode being called the Hestia Blade, the Knife of God, something like that, I'm assuming we're going to see that fire blade, and I'm excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Don Machi, or is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon, episode 3. Now, I want to do a little bit of clarification on the past episodes, because I did miss a little bit of information. I, I do... I don't want to pat myself on the back too much, but it is somewhat rare for me to miss that much information. So shout out to anyone who commented on Patreon, letting me know exactly what I missed. I did sort of misinterpret how I thought Bell's power was, but I, got, I, I knew I kind of, I know exactly like what it is. Like not his feelings are in direct correlation to his current strength, but his love for eyes is what gives him an XP multiplier for how quickly he's leveling up in the dungeons i knew that i just worded my i just worded the way i thought it was a little bit incorrectly also i didn't realize in the first episode that's actually loki because i didn't realize the gods were going to be girls in shapes of women which some also commented saying you know it makes sense gods can change their forms stuff like that all which guys i know i said i took myths and legends in high school but i was nowhere near their student i should have been so i really don't know all too much about greek norse a lot of mythology because you guys even told me there's like hindu mythology and all kinds of mythologies in here like uh ganesha is another god i i, I forget from with from which mythology but also miyak is another god and there was one that's a japanese god at the very beginning it was a super long name um and that's what makes sense as to why bell was asking miyak why he wasn't at the banquet of the gods because he was doing some stuff because he is a god so you know it's just it's just there's so much stuff i apologize ahead of time if I seem ignorant or if I miss some stuff, I'm trying my best guys. Also, I know this is a super long clarification, but uh, they didn't tell us who it was at the end, uh, at the last episode who was seeking out Bell and hired Loki and Eyes to find Bell, but Purple Eyes, uh, was it Silver Hair, something like that? It was like, I, but it really emphasized the Purple Eyes, which the only god goddess we saw with Purple Eyes was Freya. I wasn't looking at her eyes last episode. I know I, I saw that during editing. And I was like, whoa, I'm gonna put this in there. So I put that in there, but I just, like I said, I just wanna apologize, but this episode's gonna be crazy. We ended off with that fucking gorilla thing attacking everyone. We got Hestia locked in the cage. We're gonna go fight it ourselves. We're not gonna let any Familia die. That's what we do. If you guys would like early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching and uh, support me, consider checking out that Patreon down below. If Patreon's not really your thing and you still wanna support, you could just leave a like and a nice comment. It means so much. Other than that, follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the updates and for the live streams. Of course, let's hop into this Don Machi episode three really he was the one who told him about falling in love in the dungeons that sucks man i respect it try to live up to his name you know but as a newbie adventurer, you know, it's kind of hard to make it in an already set experience world, you know? Yeah. <sighs> yes, I just so happen to be. See, how do you how do you not fall in love with her on the spot? With that smile reaching out to me when I'm such at a deep spot, you know, such a deep dark spot in my life, I would have instantly fallen in love. I mean, it's just more of a platonic thing. He just wants to protect her with everything because they're friends. But I'm just saying, come on. Just one. Nine. Yeah, I can understand your pride being hurt by that. I respect that. A man of the people. Deal with shit as it comes, but deal with it the right way. So it's like an evolving knife. He never needs to get another one because it's going to evolve with him. It grows as he grows. Are you serious? That would be so terrifying to deal with this fucking beast with n knowing nobody is around to help you. 
Flashback to that Minotaur. I could totally see that. Yeah, you're. I mean, she might. <laughs> you don't know about that. And she sees you like this. Oh, that was a clean ass cut. You you got me, Don Machi. You got me. I got duped. Okay. Yes. That's my girl. That's Bestia Hestia. I mean, he did do all this to get you away from this monster. Jesus, she's actually so lucky. Bell got there so quick. That is how love works. I mean, it's a two-way street, you know. I can't call this love, though. You're about half an episode late on giving him this, but let's go. Give him the nai. Of course you would be. With the knife. One of you guys did comment also letting me know that when she does the back tattoo thing, that's confirming the stats, like hitting the okay, you know, so it makes a lot of sense. Thank you for all the info you guys give me. I need it a lot. Oh, wow, you don't have a knife? If only there was something we could have to fix that. Monstrous Wallen, what's it? I love how she's so petty towards eyes. I would be too. You're my bae, Hestia. I like how she says, finally, like, why have we been waiting? Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Hestia knife, I like it. I'll gladly murder any monster in your name, Hestia. I would pay so much money to see eyes do this in real life. Oh my, like, look, I'd be like. Okay. This might be interesting. Eyes is heading to where the silverback is right now. If eyes sees Bell kill it, what's that gonna do to Bell's ability and his psyche? I'm so curious. Because with the way they set it up, I don't think she's going to save him right here. Ooh. 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 Yeah, it is. Because it evolves with you. That's so fucking cool. That's the Divine Smith of Heaven, huh, Festus? That is a dope looking hammer, too. Oh, yeah, from a blacksmith, because she's never going to have to make you anything over again, you know? You're never going to have to pay her anything else. So we got eyes on our way. We have Hestia here, and we have Freya watching over. And this is about to be a, that's about to be a moment right here. All right, Belle. That white hair, red eyes. Let's do it. Ooh. Ooh, I just got chills the way my boy just confidently ran out there with a smile on his face. Okay, okay, Bell. Bell about to send this silver back to hell. The the hieroglyphs look so cool on it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that was dope. That was so clean. If only I had his ability for Hestia, I would be just as strong as Bell right now. I swear to God. Ooh, ooh. Right through the heart. Ooh. I love how you saw the air go out of his back. Like, that's how much fucking force he used. Literally a dagger, like, fucking this big. Killed a huge-ass silverback. Oh, we got people who saw that? Hell yeah! He's finally getting some recognition he deserves. Hell yeah. So, Eyes was watching. But she didn't make herself known. What is this woman planning? Oh no. What happened to Hestia Bestia? 
Good. I'm, I like how he cleans up, too. You know, he helps out. Yeah, it seemed like she was just exhausted. There's no way you're gonna blame yourself for this. There's no way. I can attest to that. I was a witness. Yeah, I wish. Hell no. You guys have told me, like, when I started this show, that it's going to be so hard finding the best waifu because there's unlimited waifus in the show. I'm starting to believe you. The one and only. I would too. I was like, damn, those look fucking sick. Oh, he's so appreciative. In terms of actual family, like people close to him, he only has Hestia, you know. So cute. I like how the lamp is just like a little crystal. That's super dope. How do you not love this girl? How do you not love Hestia? She is Bestia. Oh, this is the girl from the opening. That is so fucked up. I'm like, just your ability to carry a backpack that size. I used to carry six books in my high, my backpack in high school. I used to break my fucking back. I didn't even write anything down that episode because that was all like, you think about it, that was literally all like one event. Like we, the entire episode was kind of us dealing with that silverback, you know, like not many revelations were had anything like that but it was fucking i loved it i can't lie you know just seeing uh there's way too many waifus like right now my list goes number one hestia number two um seer number three aina number four eyes and then number five Lo the other two girls and loki's familia like woo, way too many like i'm <laughs> This is a very interesting show. This is a, I, I'm very much enjoying it. It is very funny, very feels goodery, very, very, <laughs> yeah. Um, but overall, you know, it has some badass moments as well. A lot of those sound effects are reminiscent to me of like slime, like which is another show very similar to this, very video game like, you know. So, just, you know, I get I get those vibes, I get huge Konosuba vibes, I get, you know, all parts of shows that I just love, and it just all forms itself into this, you know? So I'm curious, I'm curious to see what Freya has up her sleeve, what she's doing, because I don't know. I just want to see her, nope, I'm not going to say it. I appreciate y'all, Dapper Squad. Like I said, if you guys want early access, full length to this show, any other shows I'm watching, check out that Patreon down below. And make sure there is no questions on the Q&A. Nope, there is not. If you guys ever want to ask me anything, there's a Q&A section on Discord. I will answer your questions. I appreciate y'all, Dapper Squad. I'll see you this next episode. Peace out.